last year Doc10 celebrated our 10 year anniversary. We were a startup back in 2011, delivering all sorts of programmes from, from children's and sport through to light entertainment. Um, to sitcoms and game shows and quiz shows. We like to think of ourselves as a, as a one-stop shop for, for production in, in, in the facility sense. First time I met Zero Density was at IBC and we were looking for new technology which we could impress our clients with. And we saw the Zero Density stand and we thought, yeah, that's it, that's what we need to do. They were the only people at IBC that were demonstrating an Unreal Engine based solution. I could see that was the big game changer, you know, and it, and it probably took the rest of the industry two or three years to catch up to what Zero Density were doing. And I still think that's apparent today. I still think that Zero Density are, are you know, way in advance of, of some of the other graphics providers. When we first made the decision to have Zero Density as a product in our studios, um, obviously it was a step change for us to go to this sort of solution. And this was back in 2018, 2019. We had to bring a large number of our crew up to speed with using this technology, but Zero Density were there to help us. Right throughout that very challenging period, we felt fully supported by the Zero Density team. And so, them being ahead of the game and using Unreal Engine first was an important reason why we decided to choose Zero Density. Every production we do here at Doc10 is completely different in the virtual team. Some are live, like our sports shows are live every weekend, whereas some are pre-recorded, some we've streamed out onto YouTube for like the eSports era, and that's what is great about virtual studio technology, I suppose, because everything is so different. It's so many different genres who are coming on board to use it, and the only way is up, really. Here at Doc10, it's really important that we keep ourselves flexible in either being able to deliver conventional studios or virtual studios. At core to what we do is we can deliver a virtual studio production from any of our 10 studios. So we're, we're quite a large facility here at Docs 10. We've got 10 studios, you know, ranging from fairly small presentation studios to our larger spaces. So HQ1's 12,500 square foot. Any of those spaces can be used for virtual production. We've equipped all our studios to be able to do uh, camera tracking solutions and we can deliver the zero density virtual studio in any of those spaces. So we have a green site cloth that's complemented by some uh, wedged pieces and some floor pieces so we can modify them, we can change them, all of our site tracks run at the same height so we can take this system from HQ3 and deploy it in HQ1. And we also need to be able to take those studios back into be a conventional studio within 24 hours. And that's something which we develop specialised skills in. At Doc10 we have a modular psych system which allows us to take the psychorama in and out, but as a result the green isn't a uniform green. So the image base Kia allows us to capture a, a wide range of shades of green and the system copes with it perfectly well. The, the control and the flexibility that that key offers um, is far better than anything else we saw on the market. You know, we're quite keen to bring in other best-in-class products to work through Zero Density's API to make sure that we're, we're delivering at the high end. So things like motion capture and DMX lighting control um, and virtual camera racking solutions. So integrating Zero Density with motion capture is a really important feature and we're looking to exploit that now on, on other genres as well, including entertainment shows. At Doc10, we try to push the boundaries of what's possible within Zero Density, um, which gives us the variety that we need to provide for our clients. We use Flycam on almost every project, and what it brings to a production is that they're not limited by the physical space of the set. So you might have a production in a very, very small studio, maybe HQ8, our smaller studio, and we have sort of limited jib movements or limited ped movements, but a fly cam allows us to detach the camera away from the physical camera and show much wider shots. Um, what we tend to do is when we pull the camera out, we also dynamically mask the other cameras. So we found the ability to run real-time data into 3D graphics in reality is, is very useful. Um, We've had two applications, one was for an eSports project and one was for a, a game show and the game show had a question and answer database which we were driving graphics live in the show from um, and our eSports project allowed us to take data directly out of a video game 
and drive real-time 3D AR objects in the set. For both these projects, we use Reality Hub's API integration, which we found seamless and really useful. One of the major bonuses that uh, Reality Hub gives us is the ability to take in uh, third-party code. A third-party client may come to us with their own piece of software for controlling various elements of game shows, such as questions, answers, maybe even lighting through DMX. And we find it very easy to write some code to plug that into Reality Hub, and it works through seamlessly. When we use Zero Density as a product, we've gone to our clients and they're starting to look to use it in other ways and they want to expand what we can do with Virtual Studio. Our current productions and clients that are in that have been with us for a while doing Virtual Studio technology, what they love about it is that they can come to us and say we want to try this next and they're very good at pushing us. Virtual production is at the moment for us on an exponential curve. We, we started out with five channels, we've now got 15 channels. You know, without zero density and without the uh, flexibility that virtual production offers, I don't know whether we would be where we are at this point in, in time at the moment. So I, I've really enjoyed all of our interactions with uh, Zero Density as a company. Uh, the support team's excellent, I really enjoy working with Cagri. Without question, any of these bigger long-term collaborations and partnerships don't, don't work unless you have a really good collaborative, strong team and relationship. So we, we very much uh, look forward to continuing that for the coming years. One of the things we're very excited about at uh, Zero Density Product and Virtual Studio is beyond the UK. We've been very strong in the UK, a uh, combination of sport programmes, children programmes, and now entertainment programmes. But we've got bigger ambitions for it than that. We want to see on a global audience who else we can attract to our studios because we've become experts at using zero density that we believe there's other clients out there outside of the UK to come in and use this facility, tap into our expertise to try and create some extraordinary content.